Thomas Weather. The Rich Thomas Weather Network, brought to you by these fine sponsors. Hear Rich's forecast hourly on these Blue Water Broadcasting Radio stations. Hey, good morning, everybody, on this Wednesday morning, 18th day of November. What is the time right now? 3.30 a.m. on the dot as I make this on another chilly morning. Many of us are under a frost advisory early this morning, and uh, I'll show you the map in a second, but the freeze warning all goes as far south as Alexander City. All right, so one more chilly day today, one more night in the 30s tonight, and then we start to turn the page. A nice warming trend in our future. We're back in the 70s on Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and I think well into Thanksgiving week, perhaps. When is it going to rain again? There are two storm systems, two frontal systems uh, that we're monitoring for Thanksgiving week. One of them is more promising than the other one. Early this morning, we have a frost advisory here in central Alabama, really as far south as Troy, and a freeze warning covering much of north and northeast Alabama, as far south as Tallapoosa County. So a chilly start this morning, and uh, a cold day for much of the eastern U.S., even some snow continuing in the lee of the Great Lakes. But hang on, a warming trend is on the way uh, for late week. Cool sunshine today. I think we're in the mid-60s. North winds 5 to 10 will be a little gustier than that. Low tonight, uh, we're back to the 30s for the fourth night in a row. Then for tomorrow, after that chilly start, a nice day. I think we're easily in the upper 60s on Thursday. I think we're into the low 70s on Friday. As the warm-up begins, we're on the uh, west side of high pressure by then. The warming trend continues. Nice day Saturday. I've got us in the mid-70s on Saturday and also the mid-70s on Sunday. A dry weekend forecast, but we note that front to the north. You see the front approaching the Memphis area? Uh, that front seems to fizzle out on Monday, so we'll put in a 20 to 30% chance of a leftover shower Monday. We'll re-examine that forecast as we get closer to Monday. So I've got us around 67 Thursday after a cold start in the 30s. Low 70s on Friday, mid 70s on Saturday and Sunday, mid 70s on Monday with a small chance of a shower on Monday uh, with that first storm system on Thanksgiving week, but really probably a more important one, perhaps middle of the week, that's Thanksgiving Eve in the morning. Showers and thunderstorms ahead of a uh, what looks like a robust storm system. We'll see if that uh, continues to develop. Uh, by Thursday morning, the front makes it to the coast, according to the European. Based on that, let's take a stab at the Thanksgiving forecast. I'll say morning lows in the 40s, afternoon highs in the 60s with a, a, a dry day on Thanksgiving. And we'll continue to refine the forecast as we get closer. Now, out in the tropics, can you believe it? We still have two areas to watch. Well, Iota is still a tropical storm over Central America, but we have a 30% chance of development in the Caribbean and a 20% chance of uh, development northeast of the Bahamas. So the tropical season is not over yet. The next name on the list is Kappa. By the way, late word from the National Hurricane Center. Iota is now a tropical depression in Central America. Horrific reports are coming in from uh, Nicaragua and Honduras. Just absolutely awful. Live on the radio this morning from 6 to 9 on News Talk 93.1. We'll be live on TV on CBS 8 and ABC 32. Ryan Stinnett and I will be talking weather on TV this morning. There'll be another video for you first thing tomorrow morning at 4.45 a.m. And your forecast on the radio across the dial on eight radio stations every hour, every day of the year on the Blue Water family of stations. Have a good one. It's going to be a nice fall day today. I'll see you later.